there's some amazing guest stars on the show, including oh, yeah. your husband Wells. Yes! I mean, uh, my how, husband. I mean, he loves Play Doh, right? I bet like Aww. you guys have some stack now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we, we have a lot of Play-Doh at the house now. You know, I just <laughs> talked to him recently and I asked him, I was like, are you still coming down from the wedding? He's like, I guarantee there are guests from the wedding who are still hungover. Yes. Like he was like, yeah. people were turning up. Yeah, they were turning up. It was- um, You guys threw quite a party. We threw a great party. Yeah. Wells and I keep saying we wish we were guests at our own wedding. That's what he said. Yeah. Literally, he told me that. <laughs> it's true. I mean, how is newlywed life? It's amazing. Yeah. I mean, we're both like really busy, of course. Of course. So um, it's just really fun. I actually like had like a doctor's appointment the other day. Everything's fine. Okay. But I had like a checkup and stuff, and it was the first time where I got to like check the married box <gasps> on the forms. Was that like and I was surreal? Like, oh my god! Because we've been engaged for three years before we got married. Right. So you know, you have the ring on your finger, and you're like, I really want to check that box. Totally. It's supposed to be here by now. But um, it's it's really great. He doesn't feel any different okay. other than his ring, I think. Um, but for me, I was like, I feel like a grown up yes. now. Yes. I, I don't know what it is, and Wells is like, I'm so happy that like marrying me makes you feel like a woman. I was like, well, that's not, that's <laughs> not. <laughs> you're like, now you're putting words in my mouth. <laughs> I'm like, no, I felt like a woman before. Now yeah. I just feel like a grown up woman. That's right, I'm a grown woman. <laughs> a I like that a lot. Woman. Well, I just told you, we just caught up, Wells and I, and yeah. I asked him a very specific question. I was like, obviously you and Sarah have been together for so long. What's one thing that fans would be surprised to learn about her? And we have his answer for you right here. Ooh! She's like into like, Witch stuff. She's okay. like a like a witch. Witchcraft. She's kind of into witchcraft. A bruja. She is a bruja, oh but she's like God. legit. Like okay. she like I don't. She like burns sage things around me, and like I feel better afterwards. Wow. I'm into it. I'm be I believe in it. Okay, Scorpio season got a little crazier. Oh, yeah. I love it. She's and yeah, it's cr we got crystals all over okay. our house. Yeah. Is Halloween kind of wild at your house then? Halloween is always there wild at our house. Okay. Have you seen all our costumes? We yes, that's true. we always win Halloween. Wow. Well, I was married a witch. I love it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I meant that with love, by the way, but I love yes. that. Yes. You're into Witches the spookiness. Aren't bad. They're not. Also, do you love how he was wearing the black magic shirt with the cat on it that I actually bought? Your him? impact. <laughs> that is your impact right there. Okay, so spooky season is like your your peak season. It's like your peak time. Peak season. I love it. I mean, it's it's year round. It's not just spooky season for yeah. me, but. Um, yeah, I mean, my mom taught me how to read tarot cards when I was That's a kid, so cool. and, and she does that as well, and yes. I'm very into astrology. It's eclipse season right now, mm -hmm. so baby. What does that mean? It's just like chaotic energy. I don't personally manifest or do any rituals during eclipse yeah. season. Okay. And it's like a fast track to like, what will be, will be. Mm. A little bit growing pains. Oh, oh, oh. About to go toe to toe in the ultimate Play Doh competition. It's about to go down. I feel like, Sarah, you have the funnest gig right now in America <laughs> because I used to be obsessed with Play Doh. Me were, too. Were you? I was obsessed. Yeah. I wasn't as talented as, as these kids, but I was obsessed with Play Doh. <laughs> these kids are so insane. I mean, first of all, talk to me about how the opportunity to host the family Play Doh competition came to be. It just kind of fell in my lap yeah. and I said, Mm, yes. Yes, please. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> yeah. I really want to. I just, um, A, I love kids. I have a lot of nieces and nephews. Yeah. And um, Play Doh is just so much fun. It's so nostalgic. For Isn't me. it? The smell. R it's the smell. Listen, smell it. We have some right here, you guys. Literally, this brings me back to my Don't childhood. Don't you feel like you're like four years old again? Like as a parent, this is, you need this in your life. I just, it's it's so funny that it's called Play Doh Squished because when I was a kid, all I would do would be sniff and squish. <laughs> Like not to age myself, but before there were iPads, we were playing with stuff yeah. like this, you know? Like this occupied our time, I'm just saying. Really? So fun though. Are you having a blast doing it? Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Yeah. Um, we have like the most amazing kids on the show and adults and the challenges are like out of this world. Yeah. It's a little bit like there are some portions of challenges where it kind of feels like double dare as well. Yes. So it was really nostalgic, nostalgic for me to film and it was just, it was so fun and to just to be able to like really feed your inner child. Right. You also have a reunion on the show with your TV mom, yes. right, Julie Bowen. Um, how much do you and your castmates stay in touch? Obviously they were at your wedding. Yes, we, yeah. we stay in touch a lot or as much as, as we can sure. with all of our schedules. Um, it was so much fun to have Julie on the show. We hadn't seen each other in like 
a year, I think, wow. before that. Um, so it was actually like really hard for everybody. I, I kept having to put my executive producer cap on and hosting cap on because I was like, wait a second, we have to like, we ha are working on kids' times right now. Sure. Like Julie and I have to stop talking and catching up. <laughs> oh my God, you're right. Because you're yeah. like, wait, there's a show that we need to produce right now. There's a right show now. we need to produce yeah. and, and they're kids and they're under a certain age when you can only have them a certain amount of hours. But like, how fun. we need to stop talking. So cool <laughs> you can bring her into the fold though and what you're doing, you Oh know? yeah, yeah. It, it was great. I mean, I've known her kids since, I I mean, I've known the twins since they were in her. Right. Um, and so it was just, it's amazing. It's crazy seeing her kids grow up. They're so big. I'm feeling very old and short <laughs> next to them, but you know. <laughs> That's how I feel about watching the kids in a modern family. Oh, Y'all yeah. are grown up now. It's so amazing. It's so cool. Right? Yeah. They're like actually your siblings now, I feel like. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I definitely view them as my little brother and my little That's sister. So I love that. Well, this isn't your only hosting gig. You also hosted Love Island this past season. I'm so curious, like how invested did you get into not only the couples, but really the drama of it all too? So yeah. investing? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. Um, no, it, I was so invested and like, I have a group chat with my friends really? and they were texting me nonsense, like every day after the episode would I air. They're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe, and this person, and then that, they said that, and, are you kidding me? She should leave him right now. Right. And I was like, you guys, I feel the same way. <laughs> I was like fangirling at home because yeah. I wasn't at the villa every single day. Of course. And so, of course, I would watch every night and just, I was so invested yeah. in a lot of those relationships. Now, did you have to pick Wells' brain a little bit when it came to like navigating the reality dating show world? I think he was just like, I, I didn't necessarily go to him for advice. They're kind of different too, yeah. It is very, it is very different. Yeah. And I'm very much more removed than he is mm. um, in his role. Um, but I, he was just like, listen. It's gonna be fun. Listen to them. Yeah. And just like, if they ask you for advice, give the best advice as, as you possibly can. But just like, listen, like that's all that they really need. Absolutely. Are you glad you didn't have to make mar uh, margaritas for them at the villa like Wells did on Bachelor in Paradise? I, I mean, I actually do like bartending. Like I tend to make drinks a lot at home. Like yeah. Wells will make the old fashions and I will make the margaritas. You told me you make the cran cranberry margarita. Oh, the cranberry margarita. Right? Okay, I it's heard really about good. it. You said you're really good at that. So yeah. actually you should have maybe mixed up a couple of cocktails. Maybe next yeah, season. Yeah, maybe next season I'll go. do like an ode to my husband. Oh. Not that you're not busy though because you also have a new <laughs> Peacock series, right? That yes. uh, spins off the pitch perfect films. Yes. I mean, what can you, what do you want fans of the movies to know about what you guys have done with this series? Oh my goodness. I mean, we have a lot of like little Easter eggs from the films in the show, oh, um, which I think that they would really like and appreciate. Um, and we really just focus a lot on character development mm. and friendship. And um, we have a lot of areas of female friendship in the show, as well as just a human to human connection and how other people can like help uh, another person grow within themselves and, and evolve to be a better person and, and all of that. And then, of course, we have like the most amazing songs and numbers and- Of course, um, gotta have that. Gotta have that. Gotta have it. And just like a beautiful, amazing shots of Berlin. Okay. We shot at some of the most beautiful places. Um, it was amazing to see all the architecture and um, experience it. It was cold, but it I was bet. worth it. What was it like reuniting with your modern family love interest, Adam Devine? Oh my gosh, it was so good. Was it fun? I love Adam so yeah. much. I mean, I've known him for over a decade. I've known his wife, Chloe, even longer. Mm. And um, I just love the two of them so much. So it was, um, it was really a dream for Adam and I to be able to work together again. I love we're it. Sad when that ended. Right, exactly. We, were. we wanted more time to see you guys on we screen together. We wanted more so handy. Right. Yeah. Now, do we get to hear you sing on this show? Oh yes. Yes. You do. Okay. You do. I it was it. one of the biggest reasons why I wanted to do it. I hadn't sung for a job in a, in a really long time. Yeah. I think probably. I really think the last time I did one for a job was when I did hair at the Hollywood Bowl. Oh, and wow. that was like 2014. That was a long time ago, yeah. So, um, so yeah, it was just, it was so much fun to be able to sing. There like might be a, a dance number or two. Okay. Um, and I take that stuff very seriously. I come from a Broadway background. Right, So right. I was like, we have to do this and it's perfect. <laughs> I mean, between Pitch Perfect and Play-Doh, you really have a couple of dream jobs. I'm gonna tell I you that do. right now. It's amazing. I do. Well, thank you so much for being here today. We appreciate you and you guys, come on. Yeah. It doesn't get better than this, all right? What, what's better than squishing Play-Doh? Tell everyone Am how, I right? when they can and how they can find the show. It's on Freebie, November 11th. 
We have an episode out per week and, oh. <laughs> Look, it's no mess, kids, all right? No yeah, mess. Don't worry, it's no mess. We really just hope that um, families are able to watch the show and bring Play-Doh and artistry into their homes and it. their lives. Sarah, thank you so much. Thank I'm you. I'm going to take this home with me, though. Thank you. Squish it. <laughs>